Good evening boys and girls, welcome back to another video, another new week and another set of achievements for you guys. You'll be pleased to know for this week we just have the one game to go through, so we're going to get all seven achievements on this one game nice and easy. Now if you're not subscribed or you don't follow the channel, uh, please do of course, uh, but basically every Monday I put out a brand new video with seven quick and easy achievements on uh, for all the Game Pass users out there so they can get the daily achievement quest. Now, if you're not on this platform, if you don't use Game Pass, don't worry, you can still gain these achievements if you're just hunting, or uh, if you just want to build up your profile or anything like that, uh, you can still do these. Now, of course, the channel is also not solely based on Game Pass. Uh, I'm a mainly PC player myself, but I do try and cover all platforms uh, with all kinds of guides and uh, things like that, achievement hunting, stuff like that. Again, for all platforms, so please do check those out and uh, be sure to subscribe. Now, if you do like the video, hit that thumbs up. And of course, any comments on the video, don't hesitate to post them below. Uh, and I will do my best to reply to anything. So go ahead and do that. Uh, but meantime, we're going to crack on with this game and let's get started. All right. So we're going to begin with a game called Arcade Paradise. Now, the problem with this game is I can't start a brand spanking new game. For some reason, it doesn't let you. And I can't seem to clear my save off Game Pass. So I'm just going to do it part way through, but I am going to do it from the very beginning and just direct you where to go. It's still, still simple and straightforward. So the first achievement, basically start the game and uh, it's going to bring you out to here eventually. After the intro, it's going to bring you straight outside King Wash. And all you want to do for this first one is walk across and actually walk into the laundrette. And that's going to get your first achievement just doing that. It's called pushing a pool door. And that's to enter the laundrette. Beautiful. First day done. Easy as that. Second day. Second achievement. Um, now this one, you're going to have to follow the tutorial a little bit or the quest or whatever you want to call it. Um, and it's going to ask you to wash the clothing in here. You'll have to wait a little bit. And then it'll ask you to put them in the dryer. Then why everything is dry and it's going to ask you to uh, pick up all the trash and clear up a bit. And then it, you'll eventually have to empty the bag of trash outside just to the right down there so go ahead and do all that follow what it says and then it'll eventually take you to the toilet to unblock the toilet after that you then should come out and your clothing should be dry uh, so yeah after you've put them in the dryer they should all dry out and it'll ask you to put them on this sideboard here once you have done that it should then give you access to a key which is what we need for the second achievement so go ahead grab the key and then go through this back door. Now, continue and follow the quest line. Uh, follow what it says, and it will basically bring you into the office. Once you're in the office, head onto the computer, and you'll start chatting with someone on there. And basically, what they'll do is say to empty all four of the hoppers at the start of the game. And this is where our next achievement's going to come in. So this should take like just a few minutes to do anyway to get to this point. So it's not long at all. So once I've told you to empty the hoppers, exit the computer and then you want to go back in this room and you will only have three arcade machines in this room. You won't have this orange fourth one, you only have the three. And what you want to do here is crouch down and go up to each of the hoppers and just take the cash out. That's one, two, and then the middle machine, three. Again, this orange one won't be there, so you won't be able to do that one. So obviously you're going to be wondering, well, where's the fourth one, Carl? So if you head back into the laundrette and on the right side as you enter the laundrette you'll see this token machine bam that will be your fourth hopper so empty all four of those and they will give you the fetch quest complete achievement uh, empty all four hoppers at the start of the game as simple as that so that's your day two out of the way now day three what you need to do the story again will tell you to go back to the office so follow the story and deposit all your cash into the safe and then once you've done that it will it will ask you to go back to the pc now on the pc is this extra uh, icon which is arcade mania and i can't click it right now i guess because oh there we go it worked <laughs> um, and what you want to do is purchase one of these arcade machines now that you've uh, deposited the money uh, into the uh, into the safe you can now purchase one of these machines so go ahead purchase one of the machines and then um, and then just exit the PC and then what you want to do then is exit the laundrette 
because you won't receive delivery of the uh, of the machine until you've actually move on to the next day. So go over to the um, to the bus stop, uh, click that, and it will save and move us on to the next day. So just proceed. And then once we get back to the next day, you'll see the delivery of the new arcade machine. It will have this animation pop up and you'll see it in the center here. And bam, that should get you the I can't wait achievement. And that'll be your day number three. Now, for the fourth achievement on day number four, really, really easy. Uh, I am getting the hardest ones out of the way first, or at least the longest ones out of the way first, for the most part, all but one. Uh, so what you want to do here is just bring out your phone and then you want to go to arcade management and this achievement's called Jimmy Goldman will be proud and it's basically to set all four machines uh, to maximum price per play so let me just back out of this but again arcade management and then these are your four machines you want to choose racer chaser machine settings and then make sure this is at $1.50. I've already done this, so these are already at $1.50. And back out, go to strike gold, machine settings, and again, make sure it's at $1.50. Do this with all four of them, machine settings, $1.50. Wood Girls Adventure, machine settings, $1.50. Bam, once you've done that, back out and continue on with the game, and you should get the Jimmy Goldman would be proud set all machines to max price per play as easy as that super easy okay now the next one is a little bit time consuming nothing crazy by the way this is going to be day number five and you want to head over to this air hockey machine in the center here this seems to be the probably the easiest one and there's three goals tied to this so just begin as a single player now what you need to do here is win a game so make sure you win a game against the opponent, uh, the AI, whatever you want to call it. Um, on top of winning a game, you need to uh, play five games. So just play five games, whether you win or lose in total. And then and also, also what you want to do is three own goals. So first do the three own goals as one. And it will basically spawn the, the puck again. Second own goal. Third aim goal, bam. That's your first goal complete. So next time, win an actual game. So try and defeat this beast. <laughs> and then just play five more games in total. And uh, you should be good to go. Let's get rid of this game. Boom. So that's one game complete already. And obviously the other goal of scoring three home goals. So let's back out of that. We don't want to play that anymore. And that will basically get you the machine maxed. Complete all goals on a machine. So win one game, play five games in total, and score three own goals. As easy as that. Now, the next one. Day number six. Six achievement, guys. Head back to the bus stop. And once again, we're going to leave. Like so. This is another super easy one. Now, when we spawn the next day, you literally want to turn around and just leave again <laughs> and that's it it's basically called existential dread do nothing all day and that should trigger that one simple right and then the final one which is the longest one this is a bit of a little bit of a drag but you don't have to get there if you don't want to get this on the seventh day obviously you can do this at any point whatever's easiest for you so for this one, if I can remember how we bring up our watch, there you go, it's 8.04 on the watch, right? Now at 3 a.m., you will pass out because you're working too hard, you haven't gone home. And all you want to do is go into the toilet and just wait until 3 a.m. And you will pass out. And uh, that will get you the Smells Like Teen Spirit achievement, pass out in the toilet. So 3 a.m. guys, wait till 3 a.m. In, in the uh, toilet. Like I say, you can idle this, I guess. You don't want to just sit here and wait. Uh, obviously, we've just started a brand new day, so this is actually uh, going to take a bit of time for us. But again, if you want to get this one out earlier, before the seventh day, uh, by all means, go and do so. 
But other than that, guys, that is all seven achievements done. Um, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. And again, uh, hit that thumbs up. It does help me a huge amount. Any questions, let me know. And one thing before I do go, uh, again, if you do have these achievements, guys, I can only apologize. Please do check out my previous videos. Uh, there might be a lot more achievements there for you. And of course, uh, just remember that all these games um, on my weekly videos, uh, they might not always stay on Game Pass, so just be wary of that one. And uh, again, if you need more achievements, just check, pa check through um, my previous videos and uh, there should be plenty there for you. So thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. My name is Carl. As always, peace out.